One day, I was sitting on my bedroom floor texting my group chat of my three best friends. A little bit of context here. My best friends consist of three people that I honestly couldn't live without. They are my three cousins, Emma, Haley, and Chase. One day, the conversation was getting a bit boring, so I simply texted out of no point of actually thinking. I said, would y'all be weirded out if I edited our faces into the Doki Doki Literature Club girls? They said yes, absolutely, and the people who didn't say yes said, what's a Doki Doki Literature Club girl? And the only one who didn't respond was Chase, because I think he's a vampire, because he doesn't answer his text until like 10 o'clock at night. And then me and my pure quarantine boredom just hopped on my phone and made this. Don't judge me, it looks a lot better in real life when I use my real faces. It actually looks kind of real. And I think that photo may have emotionally scarred them for life. For a little more context, here was the casting. Emma as Monica, Haley as Yuri, and get ready for this, Chase as Natsuki, and me as Sayori. Don't judge me, it was funny. I think what really set me off, though, was when Emma responded to the picture with, I'm both weirdly happy and scared that I'm Monica, but it works. Like, Emma, girl, you okay? <laughs> What happened was I got a little bit too obsessed with this one picture and I actually made names for the characters and just referred to my cousins as those names for the rest of the day. I'll give them to you right now. And Monica, Haley Uri, Chase Suki, and Luceori, I don't know. Why did I have to pick the character with the weirdest name? I had a bit more information on why I casted everyone. I made Emma Monica because one, she's the most mature and the most artistic out of all of us, and she's way freaking taller than the rest of us. For the Natsuki casting, I actually wanted to be Natsuki because she's just my favorite, but then I actually figured out that having a dude play Natsuki is just way more funny. I mean, yeah, I like manga and baking and screaming at people, but is it funny? No, absolutely not. So I just made Chase's Natsuki. Also, I actually took a quiz earlier, a few months before, asking what Doki Doki girl I was, and I actually got Sayori, and I have to admit, I was a bit creeped out by that, but I was like, huh, oh, okay. So I actually texted the results to my friends, and they looked over at my results, and they were like, uh, you got Sayori? No, no, that can't be right. And I was like, why? And they were like, no, you're totally a Natsuki. And I was just confused. So I asked them why, and they said, number one, I am tiny as heck. Number two, they said, if you had your own anime, you'd be a tsundere. Like, brutally honest much. And they also brought up a few situations I had been in with them where I would always react by doing quote-unquote something Natsuki would do. Like, one time I was sitting on a bench with my friends eating lunch, and then this guy came up to us, and then this guy came up to us, and then this guy came up to us, and then this guy came up to us. And I don't really remember what he said, but it was one of those classic, oh, Lucy, he makes fun of you because he likes you guys. And I remember chasing him out of the lunch area. <laughs> So that was funny, but then I texted my friends again, and you know you have that one friend that is just never on the group chat, they never say anything, they never join the chat, but I have that girl, and she entered saying, no, you're definitely Sayori, because you're basically the, the most accurate embodiment of the happy, you know, lucky, nostalgic childhood best friend. And dang, that just made me feel so happy. So, I don't know, what do you guys think? Decide for yourselves. Oh yeah, and I also did the same thing I did with Doki Doki, with Yandere Simulator by pasting our faces onto all of the rivals and then made a puppet music video of me just moving the models with our faces around singing Senpai Notice Me by Random Encounters. And Zac Efron was Senpai for some reason. I, I don't know, I ate a lot of chocolate before I made that video. Oh yeah, and Chase was Ayano. That was gold. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I don't really know what it was. I just wanted to make a quick video about it. It's mainly for the people in this video. You know who you are. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this is basically just me messing around telling a funny story that happened about a few weeks ago or something. I don't really remember, but thank you so much for watching. But before I go, I have one more thing.
My heart's beating when I'm hanging out with you. Why does my heart ache when you hear you feel the same way too? Just like a Sunday, it's sweet every time I teach you something new. Is this by chance or fate? Whenever it's just me and you. When we touch, it'll never be enough. Is it way too much? If you had to choose just one of us, tell me, tell me, please. Is this what I think or is it just me? So wake me up with this little, little dream where we'll be together forever. We're never gonna be apart. Will it be okay if I express my love for you this way? No matter what you do or what you Hey, hey, when I'm next to you, I don't know what to do. Why does it feel so great when her eyes meet out of the blue? I really love the way you write, even when you don't have a clue. They want to hear you say that the stuff that I'm feeling is true. Convey my love for you before they fly away. I think about it all day, every day. We'll be together forever, we're never gonna be apart. One by one, they only fall apart. Can it be undone? Why can't I just be 